Ricky here with Apple Valley Farm. Today, I need to change out the blade on my chop saw or miter saw, whatever you happen to call it. The reason I'm making the video though is because honestly, I have to confess, I do it so rarely that every time I do it, I almost have to relearn the, the whole process all over again. So I thought, well, hey, why don't I just make a video and if everybody else is like me, then you know this may help you. This should be pretty simple. I'm gonna be doing this on a Ryobi 10 inch chop saw, but any typical homeowner grade uh, corded chop saw of any brand should be pretty similar. So uh, with that, hey, let's just get right into it. Again, as I said, it's a pretty simple process, but let me just go ahead and show you the steps, okay? Here we go. So as I said, I've got the 10 inch Ryobi chop saw. The first thing I want to do, make sure it's unplugged. We definitely don't want it accidentally coming on. Now I need to move this blade guard. So the Ryobi comes with this little tool here and this takes care of the whole process. So I want to, I don't know what the, the proper name is for these, I'm going to loosen this one screw here that will let the whole thing pivot and I'm going to loosen this which will allow the plate to have some movement. Now I'm going to move this up, take this out and I'm going to move this completely out of the way. Now I'm gonna flip the tool over. There was a Phillips head screw in here. I'm gonna flip the tool over and use the Allen wrench to remove the blade bolt. Okay, this is a left-handed thread, so it's gonna be the opposite of what you're used to doing. So the whole rule of lefty, loosey, righty, tighty, flip that around. It's exactly the opposite for this. So instead of lefty loosey, now it's gonna be righty loosey on this. I'm gonna press in the blade stop here. Now see it won't turn. Now I need to loosen this, which over time could be, it could be jammed up in there pretty good. You might have to get pretty ornery with it, but it will come loose. There we go. Now, Take that all the way out. Take this washer off. And now the blade is ready to come completely off. Look at that. Da da! Now we'll put the new blade on. All right, I've got a brand new blade. I'm going to put it on exactly the opposite of the way I took it off. Seat it right up there. There we go. You can't put this on backwards. Just have the printed side facing out. Now, put the washer back on. It'll only go on one way. Put the nut back in. There we go. Tighten it up finger tight. I'm gonna lock this back down. Lock the blade. Now tighten it back up, and I want it to be pretty snug, okay? I'm gonna get it good and tight, and then give it a good bump. There we go, that's it. Now, move this back up, put it all back together, exactly the opposite of the way I took it off. And you may be thinking, hey, Ricky, why didn't you clean your saw up? Well, I just wanted you to see it as I use it. You know, we, this is probably how your saw looks. So I do keep it fairly tidy, but I wanted it to look like it looks.
you have a cordless screwdriver, you could do this, make it a little easier, I guess, but it's really not that big of a deal. I like to just tighten this up snugly. There we go. And now we're ready to get back to cutting nice, smooth cuts. I hope that was pretty helpful. It was pretty simple, right? I think it was pretty simple. If you're perusing YouTube saying, oh, somebody please help me real quick, show me how to change the blade out on my saw, hopefully this has been helpful for you. If you liked it, give me a shout. Let me know if you have any questions. Let me know. Please like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We're doing stuff like this all the time. Thank you so much for being here, and um, we'll see you next time. Take care.